Cade Miele, Miele Falsche, Karja, and welcome to this week's episode of Up My Own Hole. Gaurav Miele Mahagut to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed to this podcast already. And if you're new to this podcast and you like what you see and you hear, please don't hesitate to recommend to friends and share around. You can find me on any social media and at Up My Own Hole on Twitter, TikTok and Instagram. Shine. And welcome to this week's episode of Up My Own Hole. Seamus is and I am your host. Um, I'm coming at you from the back room in the Gaff Edmonton. Um, again, very last minute with recording the podcast. Uh, the six o'clock Wednesday or Tuesday evening. Half six, nearly seven o'clock now, I'd say. Um, I'm trying to get it up tonight then. And all this, I just love stress, I'd say. And I just love doing it to myself. Then, yeah. Um, thanks, everyone, again, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and recommending my podcast to friends. Um, it's just a little thing that I like to do, a little hobby that I like to do. And try to try to spread a little bit of humanity a little bit of love a little bit of information a little bit of education and um stuff that i that i was crying out for as a child without even knowing it you know not even a child a young a young adult um so if someone was able to do it for me back in the day i would have been very grateful um and there was a few but um, yeah, that's all I'm trying to do with this podcast is just try to help people um, gain a little bit of information and education about about life, really. Um, so yeah, that's the crack. Uh, thanks again to everyone sharing, like, and everything. I really do appreciate it. Um, I have a, a, a good guest tomorrow. Um, a man who's done seven ultras, I think, in seven days. Belfast man. I already heard about him, and then I was I was sent sent his information, and and uh, I reached out and fair play. He wanted to come on straight away. So we're going to do it tomorrow evening. Um, and yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a good one. I'm going to enjoy it, I think. And speaking of uh, marathons and stuff, I have signed myself up to do one in so I'm signing myself up with the Cork Palestine Solidarity Campaign to do the Cork City Marathon obviously I'm in Australia so I won't make it to Cork City for the marathon but I'm going to do it myself here in my own little route and I'm going to try to raise funds I'll have to go fund me in my link in my bio um, and try to raise money for people in Gaza and in Palestine that um, that really badly need it, you know. So I've set myself up for that yesterday. Um, I know loads of people doing it from home um, and it'd be nice just to kind of fly the flag for them, for Cork and Palestine here in Australia as well, you know. So if anybody's listening to this podcast that's in Australia or anywhere and that would like to get involved, there's... Uh, many ways you can do it. If you're in, if you're in Australia, get on to me. We can do it together, train together, and um, yeah, we we'll, we we can do our own little marathon in our own place. If you're in Cork, then you can just message me, and uh, I'll send you on the details of people that will organise it for you. Um, it's through the the Cork Solidarity or Cork Palestine Solidarity campaign. So if you just want to get on to them, and they will they will guide you and help you in any way they can. Um, so yeah, it's a big one. I just did eight k after work today, as and I I was I was in work for about seven hours. We're busy enough on my feet all day, and then um, threw the bag, changed my clothes, put a bag on my back, and took on up the road. And it wasn't easy, I can tell you that much. But um, it's just little bits of training that need to be done now for the next month in order to prepare myself for the marathon on the day you know second of june i think is when it is so it's, it's really having about five weeks to prepare um so 
yeah, it's going to be interesting to say the least. So yeah, should be interesting. Should be. Um, I've always wanted to do a marathon. Um, I don't know why, but it's just one of them things. When I get into fitness first, it's it's really it's a fucking slog, man. I like come back from work there now. It was sickening, like. <laughs> But it's one of them things that I, it's so sickening that I want to overcome it. Um, because when you do get into a, a flow state of running, um, or get into it like this, where it's actually enjoyable, it is a beautiful thing. And I used to do it when I used to work in the bars years ago. I, don't, I used to jog like 10 kilometers after work, and no, I was the height of my fucking fitness. But I want to get back there again, and I want to get to it. And I'm not happy with my fitness at the moment, and I want to get to that extra that next step again. I want to get back to where I was years ago. And I know I'm a bit older now, whatever, but 32 is not that old, like, you know what I mean? I say that now with very sore knees, but um, I've been listening to Blind Bike Podcast and he's like, the minute he hit 30, his knees are sore. And I fucking, I relate to that man so much, it's actually sickening. But anyway, um, so yeah, so it's a new challenge. It's um, all money, obviously, and proceeds will be going directly to, um, Cork Solidarity, Cork Palestine Solidarity campaign, and they have loads of loads of different things that they do, like, and, and campaigns that they go that they that they um, that they host. They do the, the the march every week in 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 Cork City. They do vigils. They they're connected kind of out to the little towns. Then so there's like Carrigal Line and there's Bandon. There's McCroom, there's um, Bannon Colleague, there's the Bridge Initiative, uh, oh, can't say the word, <laughs> Bridge Initiative. Um, so yeah, so there's loads going on, they're all interconnected and it's 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 a great, great cause. Um, there's loads of families that are involved, uh, Is from Is Cafe uh, in the city, I don't know, it's, it's a Palestinian ca uh, um, cafe in the city. He's involved in that campaign. I've I've met him. I, I don't know. It's just loads. There's a, it's a great community under very bad circumstances at the moment because of what's going on. Um, but they, they they do get money in there. They do get people out of there as well. Um, whereas a lot of where is where a lot of the money goes is actually to get people out of there um, and into safety. So yeah. So. It's good. it's a great cause, um, and it's uh, it's yeah it's 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 such a horrific situation that's going on at the moment, um, and really getting worse. Um, they're bombing. They're bomb. So they they put out warnings and asking people to get out of a certain part. So like if you think of it, like. The map of Ireland, right? And they asked everyone that was up in Belfast and and in Northern Ireland to get out of there and to go to as far as maybe Galway, and then they bombed there. But they 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 killed thousands, say in around Northern Ireland. Then they went to Galway, and they said you're safe in Galway, just get out of there. And then they because that's where Hamas is. So this is the thing that they're meant to be shooting Hamas, or killing Hamas. But they're finding mass graves now with doctors and scrubs that are handcuffed. Oh, like there is so much that is wrong with what they've done and, and how many laws they've broken um, and how many lives they've taken. Um, journalists, uh, poets, prophets, all these very influential people in, in, the, in the Palestinian, Palestinian culture, they've wiped them out almost they've drawn so it's it's just horrific it's not it's not it's it's fucking horrific you can't really understand i can't really believe what's happening when i look at it myself you know but um it is and what can i do i can try raise a few pound you know um if i had this if i if i had taught last year when i was doing the hair and beard and stuff um If I had thought um, before I, I did the campaign, no, it was good to do money for Pieta House as well, um, as they're an, a service that is needed, but, you know, 
yeah, look, it is what it is. I, I was going to kind of say that I, I should have put my money elsewhere, but it is not. I was happy to make to raise money for for a suicide awareness charity, um, to to get people to stop and think and and love again. Um, so I, I was happy to do that. Um, it's just that there's such a catastrophe going on at the moment that I would give a limb no to stop that from happening. You know, as the children in Gaza are giving limbs without anaesthetic. It's yeah. There's so there's a list of stuff now, um, and I think it, they're kind of doing it in a way that it's so bad that you actually can't even talk about it anymore. You know. So yeah, it's just horrific. Um, and uh, so yeah, what what can I do to to help my own mental health? Selfishly, of course, and that's to get out and get active, lads. It's so important. So important to any addict, any person who's who's diagnosed with ADHD. So important for anyone that suffers from anxiety. So important for anyone who's the, who suffers from depression, who's who's in early sobriety, that needs to find something new to do. Who's in I don't know who's trying to better themselves. Really, uh, the best the best way to better yourself is is to work on yourself. And 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 I'm now working on myself again. I, I, every day I'm working on myself, but now I'm I'm gonna go that step further with the with the marathon and the training, and uh, and I'm looking forward to the to the challenge. Um, and I'm also and I'm also grateful that I can raise a few pound, euros, dollars, whatever, um, for such a great cause, you know. Um, so yeah, so that's the crack, I suppose. Uh, this week has been good, powerful. Um, but good nonetheless. Uh, powerful in ways that have evolved in my journey. Um, things are getting better. Things are getting better. Um, I'm kind of setting in my roots in order to have a stability to grow, and it's helping. Um, I'm getting into my fitness. I am, yeah, I just have my family around me. I haven't seen a lot of my. Nephews last week, um, I was minted but I was wrecked from work. And that's okay, I can find myself giving out to myself an awful lot over that. But I don't need that, you know. I don't need to give out to myself, it's okay, there's plenty more weeks to go. Um, um, it's okay not to, to, to be tired, you know what I mean? It's okay to, to, to take a chill. Um, but I do miss them already. Uh, I miss, it's already been like a week. <clears throat> so I can't wait to see them now again. Um, I kind of want a full day with them, you know. I was hoping that last Friday I was going to have the day with them because, um, the yeah, I, I was on my own. I, I day off and I was on my own because Anne had to go working, and yeah, I could. They had a thing on instead, though. So yeah. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I'm really grateful that I'm here with my family, but I need to spend more time with them to, to appreciate it a bit more because. Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay to it's okay to be tired after work. There's a lot going on. Starting a new job, like I'm five weeks into a new job, five weeks into a new country, five weeks five weeks into a new relationship, like together. Um, so it's full on. It's not full on, but it's good. It's grand. Getting there slowly but surely. Um, tipping away, keeping it simple, staying close to meetings. Um, and trying to look after my sobriety, trying to eat well now. Did a bit of um, meal prep this week. This was all stuff that was that was so easy to me before, you know. The, the last time I got sober, I was doing just on it like. Um, so it's a little bit different this time. It's slower to get back into it, but getting back into it nonetheless. And um, yeah, it's all it's all it's all ahead of us. Um, yeah, so I really do feel like things are looking up and getting better. I'm very grateful for it, really. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep it nice and short and sweet this week, guys. Next week is gonna be a good one. Um, yeah, Mark, uh, I'd never met him before, as I say now, and, and this is what I love about this podcast. I've never met him before, but we're gonna meet and we're gonna chat tomorrow evening, and that'll be up then the following week. So I suppose I'm just coming on just to say, new challenge. Um, for a good cause, 
bettering myself, getting back into the swing of things, meal prepping, looking after myself, looking after my mental health, looking after my physical health, and uh, staying fucking motherfucking sober. So yeah, I actually, even, even though I did meal prep, I did order food tonight, so I'm going out now and I'm gonna eat some pasta. Yeah, you have to treat yourself too, like, you know what I mean? You can't be a fucking priest all the time. So God will be the good. And uh, have a great week. Thanks very much again. Shlanga Paul. Gaurav Mila Mahagud for listening. If you like what you see and what you hear, um, please like, share, subscribe, recommend to a friend, subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, we leave it there. Shlanga Paul. <laughs>